giant comes to the place and takes everything from you. And when it's done, it's like anything that made your life good was never even there. I, the screenplay got sent to me before I knew about the book. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, I went straight down to my local comic book pusher and, and, and got a copy of the book. And that only made me f fall even more in love with the story. So really, I fell in love with the story more than I fell in love with the graphic novel because I read the screenplay first. I, I come from this background. I did graphic novels myself as an illustrator. So, of course, I had a tremendous respect for, for the work. And I knew from Joe Kelly, the screenwriter, that he, he felt that he had a, you know, an art piece in the book already. He didn't need the film unless it was going to respect you know, the way the story was dealt with in, 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 the, in the graphic novel. So he insisted, first of, of all, of, of writing the screenplay, which is rather unusual. Normally in Hollywood there's a rule that, you know, the people who write the graphic novel shouldn't write the screenplay. But Joe insisted, and I guess Chris Columbus was fine with, with him doing so, and he did a beautiful job. But for me it's not about you know, of course I want, I want to respect the graphic novel, but I had to find my own way into it and find my own voice. Because it's so easy just to look into the graphic novel because you have the visuals. But for me it was important at one point to leave both Joe Kelly and the graphic novel behind and really trust my own instincts on how to do this. But of course, just by loving the graphic novel, of course you're not gonna do anything hurtful to it. And, and, uh, and I think just by talking to Joe and, and everybody involved, they totally understood that I wanted to do the same thing as, as, as Joe Kelly and the producers. And then you start to trust each other. And from there we kind of just went on. I think there might be things in there that, you know, Joe and Ken who did the graphic novel don't agree with, but that's how it goes. You know, sometimes I say blue and they say red, and it has to be blue because I'm doing the film. 